<laughs> I'm keeping that in. That pothole was right. big. <laughs> Wait, a cyclist was giving me. You're definitely going to need coil up his nose from the bushes. <laughs> <I need. laughs> Mate. Wow. That was like a well. <laughs> Jesus Christ, right, bro. Let's go again. <laughs> Welcome back to another video guys, you join me on a really sunny, really windy Sunday morning. Um, we've already been out for a bit of a drive, there is cyclists everywhere, but you join me with Connor's ST3. He has very recently just had a BBO4 fitted, exactly the same turbo as what I had fitted to my ST just before I sold it. Um, Connor's a very, very good friend of mine. If you watch the channel regularly, you'll know that he's one of my day ones. Um, Basically, he saw my video of me selling, obviously, the um, the ST, and he obviously knows about it, um, just because he's in my WhatsApp group. Um, he's, he obviously knows that I'm very down about selling it, so he's very kindly driven down from Kent today, just to let me review his car, have a little drive of his car, um, just as a little reminisce of uh, missing the BBO4. So, um, yeah, he's got a few different modifications to what I had on my car. Um, he's got a lot of Peron bits and a lot of ITG bits. Um, just with, with regards to like intake and stuff and a few different bits um so without further ado we'll jump into the cabin let connor run through what he's got different to me um and yeah we'll uh jump in the car and have a fun spin and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy today's video so um let's get into it inside the uh the cabin with connor obviously you can see he's repping the merch so big up anybody that wants some just dm me on instagram the link will be in the description um it's a lot easier i haven't got a website set up yet so um that's that out the way but anyway um we're just going to quickly run through the specs of exactly what connor's had um put on the car um because there's a lot of things that he's had done to obviously get the car to the stage that it's at now yeah um so do you want to run through um, and let the people know at home what you've had to have done and exactly what you've got on this car to get to the stage where it's at now. Yep. So, wheels, brakes, and suspension wise, we'll start from the yep. ground up. What have you actually had done uh, tyre wise? We'll start with first. Right. Tyres, I've got the Pirelli Nero something. P0 P0 Nero. Nero something, yeah. yeah. Um, then I've got the Team Dynamics 17 inch 1.2s yeah. in gloss black. Yeah. Standard brakes, standard suspension, um, standard, you know, brake lines, everything else. But that is all coming out. Yeah. You're going big brake kit, K yeah. Sports. And K um, Sports, um, maybe, I think it's six, it's 180 mil, 180 okay. mil, yeah, which I've yeah. seen. Yeah, nice. That's, that's a good power. upgrade to do. Just because now you're stage three, you want to have big yeah. brakes. Especially You've gone for the big power, so you want to have the big stopping power as well yeah, now. Yeah, especially for track. Yeah, yeah. Um, coil that I like suspension wise, I'd probably go with the AP racing coilovers. Yeah. If I can get them maybe second hand. Yeah, because obviously they are expensive, yeah. aren't they? So but uh, apparently they are really good. Yeah. And they are adjustable. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah. So, so then, uh, with regards to intercooler wise, what intercooler did you go for? Intercooler, I've got the Pro Alloy Stage 3. In yeah, the cooler. that performs really well and keeps the keeps yeah. temps nice and low. Which we so found good. out when Ollie mapped the car, and I think it was 14 degrees above ambient. Yeah. Which was nothing really. No, nah, it's fine. I mean, the air my air tech one was like six yeah. degrees above ambient, yeah. so yours is just barely anything above, so that's yeah. fine. Yeah, that's a really good cooler. Um, obviously, you've got the air tech big boost pipe kits. Yep. You've got um, what exhaust are you running? I've got the Mountain Catback. Yeah. Um, exhaust with Miltech. Decat. Nice. 
Um, what else are you running with regards to? Have you got a short shifter on the car at the minute? I've got a short shifter. I've got a Voodoo short shifter, which is getting changed from to an OC one. Yeah, just because you want to be running yeah. OC everything pretty yeah. much. Nice, um, nice. I think that's it. I got to just obviously like the RTG induction kit, which RTG does, induction kit, yeah, which yeah. performs very well. Yeah, that's the yeah. full system with the crossover. Yeah, all the way down to the turbo, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Which Ollie's told me himself it performs pretty well. Yeah, which we didn't know whether it was going to no. or not. A lot because there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of the there's a lot discussion. of debate on the forums. Yeah, you yeah. guys will know. There's a lot of debate on the forums because it's behind the uh, bump, whether it's better or worse mm. with regards to heat. Um, so you guys will know. Um, you know, chat amongst yourselves whether you think it's better or worse, and comment down below whether you think it's better or worse. Uh, but well, Ollie himself said it's said it's pretty good for what it is. So. Yeah, and he's he's never had a pair on car. No. Pretty much, I don't think. So No, this is I think this is like the first actual pair on car that he's yeah. put a BBO four on. So Yeah. He was happy to do it and it's it's come out really nice and it's running really yeah. sweet. I've I've driven it today and it's it's banging. Yeah. Drives absolutely amazing. So I'm really I, I think it's pack a package, mate. You know, just because mm. it's got an RTG induction kit doesn't mean you shouldn't fit a BBO four or it's no. running bang on, mate. Just no. because, you know, th this is the thing, it doesn't matter, just just because this is the thing, you can mix and match turbos, induction kits, who cares, it doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. You don't, just because you've got a Perron um, filter, why the hell not run a BB-04? You don't have to have, just go to one person for one thing and mm. go with them for everything else. Um, mm. But yeah, with regards to the car going forward, you've got so many plans, haven't you? You want to do loads of track days and stuff like yeah. you were just saying, because of this big break, yeah, that's why you want to do call overs. You're talking about bucket seats, aren't you, as well? Bucket seats with a half cage in the back. Yeah. Which I could take out pretty much if I wanted to, you know, take my family somewhere. Mm hmm Um Yeah. So other than that other than that, you're pretty much set. I mean you yeah. from standard this was an ST three, so you've got the full spec, you've yeah. got like I'll put some clips in guys yeah. for you. So Connor's got like full spec, you've got ST three, haven't you? So you've got full sat nav. I've got sat nav, heated seats, cruise control, climate control, got, um, style pack on as well, so it's got the power folding mirrors. With yeah. the lot of the little lights underneath, which yeah. did fucking nice in the winter. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's, it's got like a gloss black strip at the front underneath the uh, bottom grill. Nice. Which is painted, which goes well with the car. Nice. Got, nice. Um. Got the little spoiler at the back, which I put on from Extreme Style Design. Yeah, the little lip spoiler. Yeah. Which I looked at the uh, Max then I looked at the TRC, and I was thinking. Want well, to try and be different? Same with the turbo. I want it to be different. Yeah, because everybody's and, got the max. Yeah. That's what I had. Yeah. And yeah. I found that, and it doesn't. It, no, I mean, it doesn't look like stick up that much either. No. So it looks a little subtle. Whereas, I mean, I didn't know what make that one was. To be fair, I was having a look when I was yeah. doing the B roll, and I couldn't look what make yeah. it was. So yeah, I was like, I didn't know Extreme which one it was. Design, but yeah. yeah, it's cool. Looks different, mate. So yeah, um, I think we've um, I think we've touched on everything, buddy. So uh, yeah. We'll get out on the road and see what she see what she's made of, and uh, obviously I know what these turbos are fun. capable of, and uh, we'll have a bit of a tear up, and um, yeah. yeah, man, have some fun. Oh my god, this guy in pink! <laughs> I mean, we've seen him, but <laughs> mate, I could not, I couldn't wear that, I couldn't put myself through that misery. I'm so sorry. I don't know if you guys are going to see this, but oh my god, there's people everywhere. How can you do this on a Saturday? This is chaos. It's carnage, isn't it? Carnage on the back roads. Honestly, mate, I'm going to have to go so... past this guy. I don't know if people are going to see him, but. Just a grumble on it. Don't go, don't, don't go too fast. I don't know, I'm just going to be crazy. It's my plate. <laughs> um, mate, that guy, I don't know if anyone's going to see him through the rear view. Probably not, but he is literally. I could not put myself through that misery. Wow. <laughs> Dressing up with him. Yeah, that was literally ink, just like pink ink all over him. Anyway, let's spin around and get back to national again because this is just boring. 30 mile an hour, we don't want that. We're not all about that 30 mile an hour content line. No, we're not. We're no, about that. Not, about, not when you've got a fucking animal. Yeah, when you've got an animal, you want to unle unleash the beast. Unleash mate. the beast in that. Right, let's get, back to, let's get back to it. Do one more pull and then we'll get we'll get some clips of you doing some plant eyes. Man, some decent corners and stuff.
for especially now that the car doesn't this much power. But obviously, like it does torque steer a little bit. Yeah, but with a, it's good because it? it's got big power and it's front wheel drive. Yeah. Massive power and it's front wheel drive. Um, but yeah, I mean, what do you expect? Yeah. I mean, after driving that Skyline, it was 544 brake and it was all wheel drive. Obviously, it feels totally different to that because that's why I was saying that video. Like, I've, I've never driven anything as quick as that. The hookup on that was literally you put your foot down, it was all like, yeah. like made it made like a, an actual skirt noise, and all four wheels just hooked up and yeah. it was just gone. Um, so it's different to driving. I've never driven a car like that before. I, mean, I don't think I've ever driven a four wheel drive car. That, well, I don't think I've ever driven a four wheel drive car, period. Yeah. Um, so that was like the first four wheel drive car that I've driven that was that powerful. Um, Let's just drop in a second and that's out. Let's just have it. Mate, Connor. This is goes, isn't it? Mate, this is ridiculous. I've, I forgot I'm looking how... forward to a dyno now to actually see what it's actually putting. So am I. Because I feel like it's more than 320 brake. Well, mate. If not, if I could get some more of the... Um, you feel like you yeah. can get some more what? I'll get some more power out of it. Uh, well you can. Yeah. Thing is these turbos, like the, the way he sets them up, they're not maxed out on bar or boost either. Yeah. So they're not even stressing, like they're literally just cruising bruv. Yeah. It's just natural speed limit again, so we're in second, just doing 30 mile an hour, and then all of a sudden. Oh! <laughs> It's just insane, it's literally rapid, mate. Oh my, see, this is why I don't need my Fiesta anymore. I can get my petrol fix from you, bro. <laughs> this is just insane, mate. Cyclist, man. Can we look at the, the roads of carnage. It's cyclists, it's it's a typical Sunday. Yeah, it is. This, this is I'm, not, I'm not doing a review on a Sunday again. Look at them, they're, just, they're in the middle of the road, man. Road, bro. Oh, well, we gapped him easily enough, anyway. This, this actually, you, you what tyres have we got in here? Because they're really grippy. I've got um, Pirelli. Pirelli, what are they, P0s? P0 Nero. Yeah, they're actually quite good. They feel really, really grippy. Um, at a minute, but I need to upgrade them to... Let's go back this way, shall we? Yeah, Have a look. on the Falcons. I, think, I do think they feel better than the Falcons, I'll be honest. I mean, I've looked at the Conley Sports 4s. Yeah. Pretty much the same as the Mission Sport 4s, and so they're, they're cheap. But they do exactly the same job. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, mate. These feel spot on. Um, I obviously had the Falcons on mine, yeah. and these feel pucker. And I've done three track days with these tyres, and all I've done is just swap them from the back to the front. Mate, from this the is... front to the back, sorry. And um, I see you what I've done for the last three track days, and there's a little bit of worn on the, on the uh, walls, and, and that's it. There's nothing all else. Right. Let's put over here a minute. <laughs> Mate, this is an absolute animal. <laughs> <laughs> right, boys and girls, we're off of one of the day ones, repping the repping the merch as well. Big man Connor in the big man BBO4. I'm getting to reminisce today. Obviously, super sad that I've got rid of mine, but I'm out in Connor's. So, uh, Connor's very kindly said to me, since he's got his fitted, his, um, come all the way down from Kent to very kindly pick me up and uh, give me a bit of boost in his BBO4 and uh, <laughs> that overrun man and just let me feel what the old uh, Fiesta ST game is still about So, 
The sketch is the day one boys were supposed to meet up yesterday. Me, Harry, Connor and Kyle, link them all below. We were all supposed to meet up yesterday and have a nice little um, car reveal of my new car, which I have got, which I haven't revealed yet. Um, some people do know what it is, but anyway, we were supposed to reveal that yesterday. Um, and we ended up not being able to do that because the weather is obviously a little bit dead yesterday. So I ended up going fishing instead and just obviously doing the video on um, what I got rid of the Fiesta ST. Which anyway, today is not about that. It's about this feast. So um, so yeah. But obviously, as Connor just said, he's got a lot of plans with this going forward. Um, I personally think this is something to follow. So if you're not following Connor already, his Instagram name is. Connor underscore ST3. So it's a really easy name to remember. But Connor's only got one N in his name, not two. So that's the only thing you do need to remember. But I'll leave a link up in the description to his Instagram. So go and give him a follow. Um, because this build is definitely something to follow. Isn't, and it's not going to be like mine, where it's just like seven months down the line, he's got rid of it. So definitely, definitely do go and give his um, Instagram a follow. Because um, once he's got buckets and the big brake here yeah. and everything else, he's definitely going to be going on track. Ford Fair. Um, Ford Fair, you'll be seeing his car at Ford and Fair. I'm also looking at the Nürburgring for next year. Wow. I'm looking that up. That's so mad. Take this round. So you're going proper, so. you're going mad on this, yeah. yeah. But obviously I am going to be at Ford Fair still. For anybody that actually cares and wants to know, um, I am still going to be at Ford Fair. Um, I'm going to be on the Fast Ford Magazine paddock, um, representing Ollie's um, road legal track car. I'm going to be next to Harry. Um, Connor's going to be on the OC Motorsport um, club stand. So if yeah. you want to come and check out Connor's car, that's where this is going to be. Um, so we're going to be, you know, OC Motorsport are going to be everywhere there. Um, if there's any chance of me getting out in the OC Motorsport track car, um, if Ollie's got round to getting a um, track seat fitted in the passenger seat, a bucket seat fitted in the passenger seat for Ford Fair, then get on it, Ollie, because that'd be sick. Um, if not, you might be going on track on Ford Fair, we don't know yet. Yeah. So we might be able to get some passenger seat action from the GoPro, which would be sick. But yeah, other than that, all I can say is, mate, um, how are you, what are your feelings on the BB-04 so far? I mean, you've only had it a few days so far, but it is amazing, isn't it? Love it. Obviously, it's the exclusivity yeah. that you get from having it. I mean, like, not that I'm slagging off, like, Pumas Mead and everybody else, but I'm just saying, what I liked about having the BB-04 when I had it is the exclusivity, because you've yeah. just got that market of not many people have got it, have they? 20 cars? Yeah. 15, 20 cars? Yeah, which is just mad. Like, that's that's what I love about yeah. it. At the moment, I don't know how many cars are running, like, VT330Rs and RC330Rs and stuff like that, but I just like the fact that there's not that many people that have got BB-04s. No, exactly. Um, I just think it's cool to be like one of not many people that have got that turbo. Um, obviously, I haven't got one anymore, which is really yeah. sad. But it's cool that you've come down to pick me up, and I can still come out and enjoy your car with you a lot, seeing as we're good mates. <laughs> So we've just finished up with Connor. Thank you ever so much for Connor for coming down from Kent. He's literally no driven worries. all the way down. He's picked me up and he's dropped me off. So I cannot thank you enough, dude. No worries. Absolutely. It's a pleasure. Absolute boss. Um, next weekend, we're going to be out in Connor's, Kai's, and Harry's Fiesta. And we're hopefully going to do a little reveal of my new car. Um, I might do it before then. I might not. But either way, it doesn't really matter because what it's all about is having fun in these beasts. Yep. My car's really slow, so who even cares about that? Um, <laughs> this is this has been an absolute joy today, mate. It's a, it's a beast. Um, massive shout out to OC Motorsport, as always. Um, the BB-04 has properly delivered, hasn't it, mate? Yeah. I mean, what are your thoughts on it? You love it, don't I'm you? I'm happy with it. Um, yeah. Are you glad you got it done? Yeah. It's a beast. I've always it? said I wanted to go stage three, and obviously this was an option, and I'm glad I, took it. I did take it. You, cl you glad you went for yeah. the BB-04 over other turbos? Yeah. Excellent, mate. Well, uh, thanks again, bud. No worries. And um, I shall see you next weekend, and we'll yeah. sign off there. So thanks for watching, guys. As, as always, if, you, um, if you've liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please make sure you consider subscribing, and uh, we'll sign off there, and peace out, and we'll see you in the next one.